Hi there, everyone, your Pyral here with some more of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. Last episode, in the adult timeline, a an evil shadow being was freed from the well, so we went back in time to do some investigating, and we're here to look for something related to being able to see the truth. So, yeah. That, that thing that was sealed in the bottom of the well We'll have to confront that in the Shadow Temple later. We're just going to be doing some preparation. Hello, you. Um, just going to ignore you. No? Okay, then. I guess I'll just have to kill you. Didn't really want to do that, but... Eh. Oh, hello, creepy skeleton. That's not what I wanted. Okay, what do you have to say, Navi? I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Look for the Eye of Truth. That's what they're saying. Well, yes. That is what we're doing. Anyways, the gimmick of this place and a bit of a preview of what's to come. This wall is fake. We can walk right through it. So, yep, that's a thing. Hello, that's a giant green bubble. Okay, use your sword when, when its green fire vanishes. Okay then, well, that's not what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna quickly go for our main objective here. Uh, what you want to do... I mean, there's a lot of optional things you can do here. Once you get this Eye of Truth, you can pretty much leave, but I'm gonna go for everything that you can get here. What do you have to say now? This statue must be the source of all the water on this floor. Okay, well... There is, of course, the crest of the royal family. And whenever we see that, of course, we play this. Zelda's lullaby. I don't know why I was so dramatic with saying that we need to play Zelda's lullaby for this, but yep, it drains the water. Why is there just a random singular pot here? Not. Okay then. Well, let's just go back. You are a jerk. Really? Twice in a row? Um, I'm just going to ignore you. I don't need that. And let's just go back to near where we came from. Also, just while we're here, you can bomb this. But I'm not going to do anything about that. Yep, this is, like, right near where we came from. See? And... There. There's a treasure chest here. Let's open that. First of all. Sure, bombs. I'll take them. But there is a little passageway here. So let's just go through it. Are there any enemies here to... Yes, you are in my way. Don't need to unnecessarily fight things, but just go through this door. As you can see, there's these really long arms just sprouting out from here. So what you want to do... Let one of them grab you! Try to get out of this hand's hold. There. And... Oh, no! You grabbed me again. No, no. Stop! Stupid hand. Navi, tell me what this thing is. This is a very frightening enemy, by the way. Come on. There. Okay, I can... I heard it emerge. Also, if you look at the, the texture of the ground, it, there's just a lot of bones. Okay, so, this thing, this here is dead hand. Watch out for its infinite hands. So what you want to do is, once it lowers its head, when it comes near you, attack. Oh, stupid. Yeah, these, these many different hands here. Also, when it um, tunnels under the ground, the dirt can damage you. Oh, you are really close to me. Okay, I got rid of one of the hands. Come back here. 
Oh. You're being smart here. Oh, come on. Stop avoiding me! I'm doing really bad in this fight. Wow, you are like right in front of me! Get, get away! Okay, you're dead. Ooh, and the creepy thing is, just like with Redeads, right when you beat them, it takes a while for Dead Hand's body to just disappear like that. Anyways, we are getting ourselves the the prize of this mini dungeon, and it is the the Lens of Truth. I was about to say the Eye of Truth, but no, the Lens of Truth. So, what it does is, once we equip it and we start using it, we can see invisible things. At the cost of a little bit of magic. It looks like a lens. I wonder if it lets you see things better. Anyways, this place is dank and creepy. No, I have things to get here. Anyways, let's, um... Let's put you down here. And let's quickly demonstrate on the bottom screen. Once you use the lens of truth, a little sound effect plays. But it will slowly drain your magic. Now, uh, back to the top screen... If we use the Lens of Truth, right there, within the lens's sight, we can see that there's a treasure chest that's not normally there. We can actually interact with it because it's still a solid object, it's just we can't see it. So if we know that there's an object there or something is hidden, wow, money. But yeah, we'll be able to interact with it. Also, I think, I might be wrong on this, but, no, no. Okay then. Also, one little trick you could do with the magic lens to conserve any uh, magic that you have, just repeatedly like use it like this. It's It saves you from having to run out of magic when you use it, but eh. Okay. Get out of my face. Now that we have that though, let's get to exploring the rest of the bottom of the well. I mean, we do have the item that we need, but there are some optional things to get here, like gold sculptulas, mostly. So, yeah. And you... Haha! -ha. You only went down in one hit? Okay. What? What is down here? Oh, yeah. There's this, which is... Bomb shoes. Okay, then. Kind of a weird... Item placement, I guess, but you know what? That's fine. And now, if you use the lens of truth, you can see that there's actually a room right here. Okay, what I want to do is... Yeah, see, there's... Oh, hello! I didn't even realize that there was a floor wall master. Yeah, there's a treasure chest here, but there is a... There, there's a hole in the wall there. So I'm going to ignore that. Watch out for shot. Yes, I know. There's also a hole right there. Which you want to watch out for? Not one here, though. So let's do that. Let's grab this treasure chest. For Deku Nuts. Don't really need them, but still. There's a few locked doors here as well. Oh, this just takes us back here. Okay, well, I want to explore more of this big room. Really, that's it? Okay, well, now what I want to do is circle around this chamber here, or this hallway, because there are some hidden walls. Uh, this one just takes us back to that central room, but we can't really do anything there just yet. There's this one right here with a small key. Oh, I think this is our first small key that we can get, like, as... Young Link. Huh. Interesting. Oh, there's also a chamber here. What do you say? I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Look for the... Yes, I, I have the Eye of Truth. Thank you very much. Okay, let's just go around here. And this will take us to the other side of this room with this big treasure chest. So we don't have to fall into that hole. And inside... I don't remember which one this is. Oh, it's the compass. Okay. I'll take it. Okay, so now... In here... Just wanna make sure... Is there anything... Well, we drained the water here, so now we can grab what... 
What's in this treasure chest? A heart. Yeah, I mean, I did take damage, so... I guess it helps. And inside this door... Ooh, I remember this room. Here, these things. Um, this enemy here... Is... A Gibdo! It also has the whole screaming thing. Okay. Get off. You are a jerk. Get off of me. Well, thank you. But yeah, this room here has a whole lot of coffins. If you... If you decide to light up these torches, let's, um, put in my Deku sticks. Uh, there. Let's light you. Yeah, whatever torch we light will open the closest coffin towards it. Anything in here? Nothing. You want to be careful, though, because some of these coffins will have enemies in them, like Gibdos. You! Crank that! Soldier boy. Okay, come on, get your butt back here. Oh, you let yourself on fire there. Grab these hearts while I'm at it. But one of these chests will have something that we need. Ah, oh, it's another Gibdo. Let's actually... Navi, I want to tap you. Come on, Navi. Yeah, see? that It's a Gibdo. There. Okay. <laughs> Just have you clip up to the top of that coffin. Sure. And now this one. Is it going to be the last one? Like the last coffin I open that has what I... Oh, of course it is. Right. No. Okay, cool. Well, in here is... Another small key. And you know what? Why not? Let's... Let's open up this last coffin. That's probably another Gibdo or something. No, just bats. Peace, technically. And that's it. Okay. Well, our next order of business is to get... Some more treasure chests here. We, we have two small keys, so... Yeah. I think there's three in this dungeon. Mini dungeon, really. Ooh, so... Hello! Okay. Now you. You are trying to trick me. This wall says something. Danger above, that's what it says. Well, if you look up, up there's nothing? Oh, it's just this. You know what? Sure, why not? Let's just... Mm, I should have been careful there. Okay, well... We haven't even been to the bottom of this place, so... Sure, let's explore. There's some bombable walls here. Bombable rocks, I mean. Oh, and there's Redeads. Mm, get off of me! And as you can see, there's silver rupees, so we're, we're bringing back this gimmick. Oh, come on. Come on. There you go. Thank you. Okay, let's just explore all of these different rooms, or different paths in this room. Here, Navi is doing a thing. I think if you play the Song of Storms, it'll cause a fairy to show up. Let's try it. I might be wrong on that. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. You can play a song there to have something happen, but I'm not... I'm not that interested. Okay, so now... There's... Another... Pathway. 
That requires bombs. We still haven't found any gold sculptulas. Whoa, hello. Chain reaction. Oh, really? Just another dead end? Okay, I'll take it. And down here... I believe this actually has a treasure chest worth grabbing. Um, I wonder, how much damage will bombs do? Didn't even do anything. Is it because you're, like, you're in your inactive state? Okay, come on. Okay, that was weird. Okay, that one's out of the way. Yep, this is the... Uh, blah, 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 blah. This is the dungeon map. So we have pretty much everything we need besides the gold sculptulas. But since we're here, let's take a look at the good old map. So... This is currently where we are. We don't really need to come back here to the bottom floor, but if we end up falling, then that's just us being dumb. And then these are just various mini rooms, like where we got a key, where we fought Dead Hand in the bottom left, bottom right. I know my directions. And then there's these rooms. So, yep. There's a treasure. There's a couple of treasure chests for me to grab. But, to get out of here, what you want to do... Don't go into death water. Ooh, there's also, like, hands here. So I assume, like, people sank down here and, like, they tried to, like, reach for air. It's kind of disturbing. But, um, grab that. There's more. There should be another silver rupee around here. Is it up here? Maybe. There it is. And that opens up that door. Which will take us back here. Okay, so... There's a treasure chest here that I... Completely, like, went right past. But yep, there's... Another small key. So now... Now... We don't want to get lit on fire by this green boy. You. I'll just ignore you. You want to. You want to avoid that hole down there. Grab this while we're here. Just some Deku nuts. Okay. Well, now. Avoid you again. Let's go back into this big room here. And. There's a couple of doors here with uh, locks. So, in here, is this one of the gold sculptures? I think so. Let's um, kill you. And you. Okay, not you. But you! Okay, if we use the lens of truth... There is a gold sculpture here. Let's just turn that off and grab our spoils. Okay, that's one gold sculpture token. And then there's another door here that we can go through. No, don't don't lock onto that. Let's open up this door. And there is another gold sculpture here. Okay. Well, let's... Let's just forget all of that ever happened. Forget that we got attacked by Dekubaba and flying pots. But, yeah. That's our last... That's not our... That's our second to last gold sculpture token. So now... Let's go through this wall here. And as you can see, there is another gold sculpture token here. I wonder. Okay, I can damage this like like through the bars. Because having to deal with that would be a pain. And also, you can't suck me through the bars. So, haha. Screw you. 
Okay, you want to be careful here because there's a hole in the floor right next to this thing. That's like, oh, danger below. Screw you, green bubble. But anyways, let's go through here. And this is the last locked door. There's two treasure chests here to get. Oh, hello. Um, throw a bomb at you to get you out of the way. Oh, I... Yeah, I knew there was holes in the walls there, and I was actually going to use the lens of truth. Oh, wait, I already... Yeah, I was going to use the lens of truth to... To actually look for them, but I was a little bit too late, so... Yeah, let's do that again. I wonder, is that like like gonna respawn? Because if so, killing it through the bars is pointless. Huh. Well then, let's um, let's investigate and see if that's actually true. Okay. Oh, I'm going this way. Okay, Navi, you don't need to tell me anything because I know what I'm doing. Contrary to what you might think. Oh, the like like responds. That's dumb. Okay, well, let's go through this whole rigmarole again. That's a word I like to say a lot. Rigmarole. I don't know. Something about it. Okay, you know what? Let's, um, play this smart and use my slingshot for, uh, first off, get rid of you again. You. You. And you. Okay, so, avoid these. Grab you. A blue rupee. Don't need that. That probably would have been a Deku shield if I was equipping it and then it got caught on fire. Because the game does that. Oh, you're back. Okay, let's spin attack. Don't you dare. Okay, you sucked me. Don't you dare. Okay. Give back my shield before it goes away. I don't want to buy another one. This one I got for free. Bye. Okay, thank you. I have to equip it again. That's dumb. And I'm pretty sure this treasure chest would be like a replacement shield. If you lost yours, but eh. Anyways. Let's do this. And grab ourselves the last Sculptula token here in this little mini dungeon. So now, we should have everything. We have all the gold Sculptulas here and all of the treasure chests. So, let's leave. We don't really need to do anything else here. Uh, why do you respawn? Whatever. I can finally get out of this place. But yeah, now that we have the Lens of Truth, we... Can maybe use it to see that thing that attacked us in the adult timeline. But before we do that, there's actually a couple things for us to do. Okay, let's just break these. Give me a heart. I mean, I'll take the magic as well, but... Okay, turn around. Give me a heart, please. Thank you. I'm at full health. Okay, let's just jump on up. Climb on up, really. And leave this place. Kind of unsettling that there's basically... Like, if you look around this bottom of the well, it's basically... Like, it looks like it's a place where you tortured people, and to think that that was lying underneath all of Kakariko Village is a bit unsettling. <laughs> but there's more to come. Believe me. But yeah. With that done... 
I am actually going to end it off here. So, um, yeah, next time on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D, we, we're going to actually put our Lens of Truth to a little bit of use. So, yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and see you all next time for some more of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. Later!